So now to close the meeting, it is my pleasure to introduce once again the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria, Dawana Kupe. Thank you, Ole. I think today has been a wonderful day, a day of rich, layered, textured and nuanced debates, driven, of course, by the presence of our Nobel laureates and the, the rest of the panelists. It has, I've learned today that the future of work is complex, complicated and intersectional. I've learned and we've learned today that the future of work is about the sustainability of humanity and nature. And that, that in that space, the future of work requires an education system or education systems that both emphasize layered theory, but as well as practical the imparting of practical skills in a changing context and in changing context. That technology is an enabler, has potential, but is not the magic wand. I learned today, and we learned today in these debates, that the future of work is something that requires the collaboration, the partnerships among all stakeholders in society, from the state to the private sector, business, labor, civil society, and that the future of work is about the, the youth, it's about the young people, that the future of work is what will make us rethink, reimagine the position of humanity in this, our wonderful planet. I learned today that policy advocacy and, pol and, and the creation of policy, the co-creation of those policies among stakeholders is what will restore to human beings Decent work, work is something that we enjoy. Work is where we make choices and that the work is not about employment only. There are different forms of work from the whole spectrum of entrepreneurship and employing ourselves. That indeed as human beings, we ought to be excited about the future of work. This emerging world in a disrupted world that hope beckons us to do the right thing and restore our dignity as human beings. Therefore, we enjoyed today, particularly as the University of Pretoria, a chance to have a global advisory board giving us ideas about where we should go with the center of the future of work in Pretoria. We'll take all of it on board with all of our partners. Lastly, I want to thank the Nobel Dialogues International Partners, 3M, AAB, Ericsson and Scania. And of course, this would not have been possible without Laura and the Nobel Prize team in Stockholm. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Then, it would not have been possible without the University of Pretoria team, or let me rather say teams, who delivered on this uh, particular occasion. And I would like at the end of it all to thank all those who tuned in and listened to this debate. And to say to those who have not tuned in, who will be told by those who tuned in, that these debates will be available online in podcasts. Thank you very much. If Africa First became an Africa First and very successful. Thank you. <laughs>